All right. There you are. <laughs> hey, this is grade two, module two, lesson three. And in this lesson, uh, students are going to be using a centimeter cube. And we're going to use that to represent my centimeter cube. And they're going to use a piece of paper, probably tag board or construction paper or some sort of recycled paper. It's go, go cheap. It, you don't have to spend a lot of money on this. And we're going to make, the students are going to make their own ruler. And then they're going to measure stuff around the classroom. So. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, if this would be a one-person job, by the way, probably, but you can have students working in pairs if they want. Uh, we're going to use our piece of paper, and we're going to take our centimeter cube, and I'm going to, as a student, I would mark off where each centimeter is. So I can see that, okay, there's a centimeter, so I'm going to little draw a little line, and then as a student, I'm going to move the centimeter cube to the end, right, and then mark it. And that's not entirely intuitive for these little second graders. So we're going to mark it, and we're going to continue going here. And now this is kind of what they did in lesson two, where to measure an object, they would take that centimeter cube and drag it across the sandwich or whatever it is they were, they were measuring. Well, here, they're going to make their own ruler using a centimeter cube. And then, now this is our portable ruler. We no, no longer have to carry around a, a centimeter cube, right? OK, so now we've got our ruler here, and we can measure anything. Oh, let's measure um, a fish. And OK, so here's my fish. And of course, I need a pen that actually works. And then, so here's my fish. Ooh, fish. The eyeball and the mouth and the gill. All right, woo. -hoo. Oh, we should do a little fin and another fin there. Okay, so there's my fish. I totally drew it, faked it. I have no idea how long this fish is. So the students are going to measure from tip to tip. All right, and so with the tip to tip, they're going to line up their ruler on the edge. Now a lot of students will start at the first mark. <clears throat> That's not what we want, because really, we want to start on the edge. And in this case, we can see that the fish is one interval, two intervals, three intervals, and a little bit less than four intervals. They're not counting these dashes. A lot of students want to count the dashes. No, 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 no. We're really counting these intervals, so one interval two intervals, three intervals, a little less than four intervals. So in this case, I would probably say about four centimeters. All right. Um, of course, this doesn't look like a centimeter because I'm, I'm making a video, but you get the idea. Uh, let's do one last one. Uh, let's do a circle. And let's do a circle. Oh, wait. <laughs> so that's a horrible looking circle. Sorry. Um, let's do a circle. And we want to measure the diameter of that circle. OK, so let's, let's measure. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure from end to end right here. And so we're going to use our little ruler here. And I'm going to go from end to end. And once again, we're going to count the interval. So one interval and two intervals. So it looks like it's a little bit less than two intervals. So that, we would say, it's about two centimeters. And now, if we wanted to, we can ask students, well, what if we put the fish and the, and the circle next to each other? How long would it be? And we would expect students to say something along the lines of, well, 4 plus 2 is 6, so we would expect the combined length to be about 6 centimeters. It's that conservation of length here. And that's going to be a future lesson, but we might as well start uh, opening the door to that, that idea right now. And that is Grade 2, Module 2, Lesson 3.